In this lesson, we'll be talking about airframes. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to visualize airframe options and understand function-based airframe design. Throughout our course, we've been designing our own airframe, but there are plenty of them that are available off the shelf. The airframe is important because it holds all of the components together, such as the motors, the flight controller, as well as the batteries. But why would you want to design your own airframe if there's one already available off the shelf? This specific one is a super light series and it allows you to create essentially a racing drone. It weighs about 125 to 130 grams, so it's a little bit lighter than ours, but it lacks a few key things. We don't have any protection for the motors or props, and we don't really have any surrounding geometry to help protect all the other components. Now there are some plates here that can allow you to keep the flight controller safe, but in general, it's a fairly open design because it's meant to be as light as possible. Earlier on in our course, we used a smaller modular type 3D printed arm. Now this one was printed on a micro 3D printer, which has about a five by five inch build volume. You can get a small desktop 3D printer like this and create your own designs without having to print a rather large design. The one that we designed for the course, however, had our very specific design intent. We wanted to make sure that the motors were upside down and that we protected the props as well as the motors and all the components. We have this large airframe to allow us some flexibility when we land, or also if we bump into anything, walls or ceilings. We made sure that the entire top of the design was nice and smooth so that we didn't hit any obstructions if we were flying inside of buildings. Now that's a big difference between a lot of the off-the-shelf components because our motors are upside down and the props are facing down. That means that we can fly directly up to a ceiling without fear of crashing or damaging any components. So when you consider designing your own airframe as opposed to buying an off-the-shelf one, you need to consider what's available and what type of functionality you want to add that's not currently available. 